My name is Roope Piipponen. I will be presenting a brief synopsis of my master dissertation, Building on Borrowed Land Towards an Ecosystemic Urbanism. The thesis focuses on the notion of change and explores how to turn it into an agent for better futures. How can we use long-term thinking in an increasingly short-sighted world? How can we become good ancestors and make the right decisions for the survival of humanity and for the well-being of future generations? This involves a series of fundamental shifts in our society to work towards preferable futures. One of the main ones required is the reintegration of the human ecosystem into the natural one. Complex issues must be addressed in a holistic manner. When we zoom out, it becomes evident that the urban environment is only a fraction of the problem. Our whole ecosystem needs to be rebalanced. With a shift towards an ecosystemic urbanism, we can reinstate a mutually symbiotic relationship with nature. By rebalancing spaces through technological advancement and a shift in our values, we can reduce the overall footprint on the planet. With localized ecosystems, we lessen our dependency on extensive infrastructure networks. This approach was further developed as a case study on the Hanasari power plant site in Helsinki, which represents an important infrastructural space and a major node between old and new, between land and water, and between built and natural. A 2051 scenario was developed to push the design drivers of flooding and population growth to the extreme to design in this potential future world. The interconnectedness of local and global events was highlighted through the study. Locally, the increased flooding in the growing city means that more is required from less available land. What if instead of a conventional approach of maximizing buildable land through flood prevention, the flooding was accepted and used as a defining condition for the project? And what if this floodable land was used to create a new commons between humanity and nature to reconnect us to our broader ecosystem? Limiting the project's footprint allows the use of existing infrastructure, reducing the impact of the project on the site. Smaller residential units are combined with commons and natural spaces to create a new human habitat on site, which includes living, working, food and energy production, waste treatment, and much more. This localized ecosystem creates a self-sustaining habitat, lessening our impact on the natural ecosystem around us. The existing complex provides important open, free space in an increasingly densely programmed urban fabric. The ecosystemic approach is continued up the towers, combining private, common and green functions to maximize the qualitative space and residents' access to different facilities. Meanwhile, the project also provides reduced private spaces, addressing the growing need for small apartments in the city. These residential units include green spaces and a glazed terrace for food production, for sun shading and for increased well-being. What the units are lacking is made up for with the extensive common spaces in the complex. The project, however, is much more than the units or the urban intervention. It proposes a new way of living in a truly ecologically and socially sustainable manner by reducing our footprint and our dependency on extended infrastructural networks while increasing the importance of community and sharing. This represents a fundamental shift towards a new ecosystemic urbanism to re-establish a mutually symbiotic relationship with nature for our survival on this planet.